well. Uh, so yeah, these are <laughs> some things I forgot I had. And this is a pencil that I use all the time. Good morning, hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. This time, I'm actually outside recording all of this because I just, you know, woke up and felt like doing this. Which is like how most things I do in life do go. So, um, yeah, we're just going to jump right in. But before we do too much of that, uh, just want to thank you for clicking on this video and watching it and all that good stuff. And uh, I hope you learned some stuff about, you know, dip pens and everything while I'm doing all this craziness. Because, again, once I, like I said, I forgot I had these. A little bit of backstory. I bought these, in, what, almost two years ago now. And uh, they are just a little old. Old. Just, you know, very old and very uh, used up and all that good stuff. But I still like using these a lot because um, over, the over time, I just... I got into inking and drawing with ink over uh, overall, and in doing that, I just felt I gained I I came oh, I can't even talk anymore. I became a lot more confident in my line drawing capabilities just by doing all this and all that good stuff. These were fun. These were fun. These were a nice experience. This actually isn't even a uh, uh, pen pen per se. This is actually my uh, very large uh, uh, graphite holder pen uh, pencil why did I just say pencil just say pencil anyway but I did find out like a uh, last uh, in 2019 that I could just put my bigger nibs in the in the actual like slot right here and use it like that once I realized that I'll, I just kind of said there's no excuse for me to not use these too much um, <laughs> Now, with that uh, little bit of a ramble out of the way, I'm just going to prepare all of these to be used. I actually do not like this one uh, that much. I got this one in a two-pack with this one. It came; uh, These two came in a pack with about four nibs. And let me actually put a nib on this one. Uh, they all were like pretty cool for a while. And I came, I, I got a lot of good inking done with these. But I just never really had a use for them, per se. I bought them, but I just, as per an artist, I just never had a use for them until, uh, you know, I had to do something with them. Which was never. Which is the funny thing. But I'm kind of all over the place, once again. And I'm not mad at that. But, again, like I said, I forgot I had these. And these are cool. I really forgot I had these. These are, these are just so cool. But, you know, uh, never really had a use for them. So here's the ink that I use mostly for all of these. I'm kind of happy that I kept it. But, you know, that's just, uh, that's kind of the end of the story time. Kind of. But with all of that being said, uh, I'm just going to draw a couple of things with these. Just to, uh... Do some, do some, do some ink work, basically, because why not? And because I don't have a pen, a uh, pencil, I'm going to draw a couple of thingy things. And by the way, this is probably going to be real time, unless I have to cut like a lot of the wind shear out and all that other stuff. But um, yeah, I'm just not going to do too much too much uh, work on this per se. All the work is going to be like in here now. And I'm probably just going to go for like 20 or so minutes unless I decide to go longer. Which often does happen. But just to start on a couple of things. Uh, let's see. I'll do four boxes. Maybe three. And I might just come back with a part two. Because I can do that. Let's see. Moving that out the way. We clamp down this side, which helps. Uh, 
Oh boy, I don't know what these shapes are going to take the form of, but I'm going to cheat a little bit and draw something here. And one thing here. I'm drawing lightly, so if you can't see it, I'm sorry. Partially. Maybe. I may be sorry. a little bit something a bit abstract but on the mark which is kind of what happens when I do so much of this and as as mad as I want to be at myself for all these crazy antics that I put myself through in regards to trying to create something abstract instead of something that's more concrete I uh, I enjoy it it's it's weird Mm, not as weird as some other things that I've done and enjoyed. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> it, now that makes it sound a lot worse than it is. Or does it? Dun dun dun. Okay. I like this. I like that. I like drawing caves. And if you hear birds... I'm going to do my best to take out the sound of nature in my voice, but, you know, I might not. But if you hear birds and wind, that's because I'm outside. And I just don't want to be bothered with too much, uh, too much, like, recording, recording. I mean, too much uh, of my recording in my studio. That's what I meant to say. All right. That's enough of that. Back to Z Inks. Well, onto the, the inks, actually. I like this nib and the standard nib here. This gold, well, I think it's brass or bronze. This bronze, I'll say gold. Ooh, I'm all off camera. This is awful. I'm so sorry. I like these two nibs here, uh, mostly. And this bronze nib or brass, I never really you know, enjoyed as much. But I've always gotten some use out of it. I think it's because it has these uh, it has these little gaps right here and then right here that allow for more ink to uh, be soaked up a little bit. But it's actually bent. That's not good. That's not good at all. But something something interesting. All right, now before we get into that, we have to unseal this ink. I actually can un if I can get it unsealed. Okay, I can't. I actually can't. This is stuck. Oh boy, time to get the pliers. Okay, we're good. Oh man, <sighs> that was terrible and kind of a hassle because I didn't think the ink was going to be like that. Unless the unless all the water I put in evaporated. I like to keep this ink diluted with a combination of alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol, water, and a bit of ink as well. Just to get it mixed in properly. The only thing I do appreciate, oh yeah, it's gunky at the bottom. Very gunky. Well, that's gonna come back to bite me someday. But. India ink does get very gunky over time, so that's something that I have to be mindful of. And I realized when I first got into India ink in like 2018, I realized that it's just uh, extremely, 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 extremely um, clumpy when it doesn't bond with, some, with, bond with uh, something. The thing that it can bond with is paper or, you know, just like anything else that it gets on when it's just left by itself it clumps up a lot 
which is interesting but you know not something you want to have to deal with but I am getting ahead of myself all right which one do I want to go with first I will go with number one and let's do a couple of quick do a couple of quick squibbles as well Now let's move these out the way. And let's get in just a little bit more on this one. All right. The scratch of, the scratch of this India ink is so good. That is, that is some fine line work right here. That's a, and I'm not even on the actual piece that I wanted to be on. That's terrible. Um, okay. So I want to, I'm going to replicate a piece that I did earlier, well before. And uh, we're just going to, just going to jump right on in. This is a, um, Sometimes when I do just a straight, well, a straight line, a curved line like this, I'm not even going to draw a curved line to trace, like as in tracing over this line at all. It's just a piece of um, direction, honestly. Just a piece of direction that I really didn't think about doing. Well, it's supposed to be random anyway, but anyway. It's just how it's supposed to be, partially. One thing I do, <clears throat> the one thing I do like about the dip pins is that if you press on them harder, it just releases more ink and it allows for a lot of ink to come onto the paper. But that's something that you should know um, going into any medium. You should be able to find, figure that out. But that's just something that I've always appreciated, and it's not something that I get consistently whenever I use a micron uh, pen or even my. Uh, my brush pens that are actually right here. Whenever I use my brush pens, I can only get a certain amount of ink onto the paper before the brush frays or leaves. Um, it leaves the the what the distinct shape of a brush. Sometimes I don't want that, but then other times I want exactly that, and I'm just like, oh man, I need to figure that out, and. The, these pens are perfectly balanced as all things should be <laughs> but they are exactly what I usually need by the time that comes to that comes to being and I like it it's pretty cool it's it's interesting but it's it's not too overbearing I should say I don't know why I would say overbearing but overbearing it overbearing seems like it's the right word for this situation together mm -hmm. 
dip, dip, dip. All right, now I'm gonna add on to the, uh, I say alcohol, but it, I don't know why I said that. It was weird. Um, add on to this little bit of a cove cave that I'm, I'm thinking of now. Sometimes the abstract ideas lead into some of the most concrete ideas I ever have. It's weird. All right, um, I like where it is now, but let's add some lines before I get too deep into it and I run out of ink. I have to be very careful when drawing lines here because the ink is extremely wet by the time it gets here and it does that and I did not want to do that, but if it were angled down, that would work. So now, all right. So let's, all right, all right, all right, all right. Please don't work. Please, please don't mess up. And boink. And never mind. All right, I'm going to have to work with that. I like that. That's cool. All right, happy accident. Thank you, Bob Ross. Now we're going to add on to this top part here. And we're gonna make this uh, not seen, but like uh, there you go. We're gonna make it branch out just a little bit like that, and there we go. All right, branch, 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 branch. It's doing good. do a little bit of hatching right here oh boy I do miss again this scratch because I'm outside and there's so much noise you really can't hear it unfortunately and the wind just picked up again but there's a scratch to the paper that you cannot replicate digitally that just brings me back to traditional art but it's, it's not just the scratch of this type of pen on this type of paper, it's the scratch on everything. It's all, it's all good. It's always good. It's so good. It's just so good. It's just so good. Now let's, um, let's try to make a thinner, thinner, there you go, thinner cove right here. Add some Let's add some some darkness right here. Let's let's do some line work here. And we're going to there you go. I like that. I always like the dilapidated look of so many of my pieces that again always start out as abstract and then they turn into something that's more concrete I always like how they look destroyed dilapidated and almost post-apocalyptic it's 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 a mood for lack of a better word pretty cool All right, 
do something right here, just a little bit of etching. Let me practice right here for a second. And it dried out. Okay, that's not good. The one thing I do, I do like and don't like about dip pens is that you actually have to dip them to refill them. I think it's because I'm so spoiled with, you know, pens that don't run out almost, almost seemingly run on forever, basically. I'm just so used to that. Let's do a thicker line here. Something thicker right there. I'm gonna add a little bit of something over here. But now I'm, I'm figuring out where the light source is, or at least where I want it to be. But now I'm gonna have to bring this up. I need, yeah, I need to bring it up like this. I've been studying a lot of David Finch's uh, artwork uh, over the past few weeks, honestly, and I've been seeing how his, uh, how he, I butchered that, obviously, but how he pulls his lines outward and, uh, and from within the shadows of the, um, of his cross hatching. So now I'm going to put a figure here. Just a figure, just a a little bit of a figure, do something, and let's see, give them a lamp, something a little more abstract right here, actually, um, I need to pull them away. And then add them in right here. Just a little bit of lighting. I got their head. I got their head all in black. I like that. Just a little bit. So now, because the lighting is here, I'm going to need to pull the cross hatching down here. Cross hatching is my favorite form of shading and uh, providing light balance and contrast. So you're going to see a lot. Well, you've seen a lot of that in, on my channel, but it's just something that I like doing. It's, I think it's the, I think it, hatching and cross hatching were like the first shading techniques I learned. I'm pretty sure that's why they're ingrained in my head the way they are. All right. So something just to look and see. This one is on this wall here, so it's gonna be just a little, just a little bit um, darker. Then everything else here is gonna be much darker. And actually, because of that, I can cross all of this out. Well, not all of it, because I can still have a secondary light source like the moon hitting it. But this all right here is definitely going to be part of the cave or cove. I'll say it's a cove. Like I said before, so I won't forget. I like this a lot. Let's add just a little bit of indication that this is a wall. And he is walking. Well, he or she. I don't I haven't given this person an identity yet. But I like it. And darkness, darkness, darkness darkness
I like that. And let's see. I always laugh how I always laugh at uh, how funny well how funny how much wind it is when it is this much light out. I always always makes me laugh because I know why, but it still just makes me laugh. So now we're gonna do some steps. Uh, what is supposed to be. we're gonna do what is supposed to be some steps, but you know it's a cave, so I can not draw steps and call them steps and you wouldn't care would you would you care all right and that's going to be a bit of a lake get some darkness on this side i love how i made this entire video because i wanted to actually draw with all of these dip pens, but then I immediately default back to the one that I actually like. I immediately default back to my favorite. I haven't drawn with these in, in well over a few, in well over a month and some change. And the main one that I usually do draw with is this one right here. Probably because it was my first one and I'm so used to that. Oh, that's not good. I have some ink here. That's not good, but we will make it a good thing. Just block it. We're just going to black this entire area out. Okay. That's all right. We're just going to bleed it off the page a little bit. That's okay. That is okay. Well, off the page. We're going to bleed it past the borders just a little bit. That's okay. And that is where I want to leave it for right now. I'm satisfied with that. And plus, I, I have to go somewhere. <laughs> Let me just do that. Boom. Crap. Terrible. I'm gonna put it, we're going to put it right here. So, yeah. And I uh, wanted to thank you all for watching because this was uh, pretty satisfying. And as per usual, therapeutic like most of my art is. So yeah, uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Go ahead, like the video and, and share this with somebody because I'm pretty sure uh, somebody else will find this satisfying as well. Let me put this thing back on because I do not want to spill. There you go. And uh, yeah, that's it. With, it. with all that being said, I will catch you all later and until next time.